the Albanian language. Albanian is an Indo-European language, and yeah. Albanian, Juha Shqipe, or as it's commonly referred to in their own language, Shqip, is an Indo-European language isolate. This means that there's no concrete Proto-Albanian that linguists can easily point to that bridges the gap between modern Albanian and the hypothetical Indo-European language. Thus, it stands on its own. Another language isolate of Indo-European origin includes Armenian. It's estimated that there are between 5 million speakers, according to the University of Texas in Austin, and 8 million speakers, according to Vanderbilt University. So, yeah, not a popular language by most standards. Most speakers are found in Albania, duh. However, many diaspora groups exist throughout the Balkans, Italy, Greece, and Staten Island, New York. Where exactly Albanian comes from is kind of unknown. In fact, it's hella unknown. Linguists have proposed the idea that modern Albanian comes from Thracian or Dacian, although these theories have little to no concrete evidence to support their validity. However, there is some evidence to support the idea that Albanian comes from the ancient Illyrian language. When it comes to dialects, there are two primary groups to take note of, Geg and Tusk. Geg is spoken north of the Shkumbini River, and Tusk is spoken just south of the river. And before continuing into the linguistics, let's cover some history. So, Albania is sometimes referred to as the Switzerland of the Balkans, the Tibet of Europe, and some writers go as far as to say it is more mysterious and mystical than Africa and Inner America. Because of its historical isolation and the mountainous terrain, Albania has a pretty unique history. The most widely accepted belief is that Albanians are descendants of the ancient Illyrians who lived throughout Central and Eastern Europe and migrated down towards modern-day Albania sometime around 2000 BC, or the Early Bronze Age. Fast forward to about 200 BC, and the Romans popped out and just beat up the Illyrians. It's important to note that the term Illyrian is just the name that the ancient Greeks gave these generalized people. It's unlikely that the actual Illyrians called themselves Illyrians. In fact, it's unlikely they gave themselves any collective name at all. Between then and the fall of Western Rome, many Illyrians seemed to have just hit the dip to the mountains of the Eastern European coast. Because, I don't know, Rome was a bugging. The people who inhabited the area, possibly some Illyrian descendants mixed with mad heads, were eventually under the rule of the Byzantine Empire during the 4th century AD. Then after being slimed by Visigoths, Huns, and just, just folks, the people we now call Albanians were racked by the Ottoman Turks around the 15th century. The Ottomans were like, yo, you ain't getting no civilization, and kind of forced the Albanians to be isolated for a hot minute, until the 1800s when Albania, like many small nations, were like, yo, who, who even are you, my man? Like, wh why are we even listening to you? And so they rebelled. In 1912, Albania was declared an independent country. Although this wouldn't stop it from being caught in the mess of Europe during the early 20th century. In 1941, the Albanian Communist Party was founded under First Secretary Enver Hoxha, and in 1946, the People's Assembly declared the Socialist People's Republic of Albania and throughout the later half of the 20th century, Albania would industrialize, go through economic ups and downs, and then become broke in the 21st century. One problem the socialist paradise of Albania had was the fact that, well, they didn't really know which dialect to use, or have any idea what to propose as a standard language, which makes centralization and industrialization, I don't know, a little complicated. Rather than solve the issue, the government and people were like, let's just see what happens. And throughout the post-war development of Albania, Tusk, with some words and morphemes coming from Geg, generally was the dialect that official and semi-official documents were written in. The difference between Tusk and Geg is nowhere near the difference between Egyptian Arabic and Yemeni Arabic. However, there is a general distinction in phonology between the two, and many Geg speakers insist on the phonological distinction between vowel length and nasality, while Tusk speakers really don't care. Geg speakers tend to preserve the n sound in a bunch of words, while Tusk speakers have introduced the r sound instead. The dialect spoken outside of Albania, such as in Greece and Italy, often reflects the Tusk origin. And it's also important to note that Albanian borrows many linguistic elements from Turkish, Italian, and other Romance languages as well. As a language, Albanian has 36 phonemes, sentences follow the subject-verb-object word order, 
and the intonations used in Albanian are similar to the intonations used in standard American English. Nouns are either feminine or masculine, or neutral, although this is not really that common in everyday use. Adjectives change depending on gender, number, definiteness, and the case of the nouns that they follow, as is often the case with many other Indo-European languages. A number of Albanian words consist of single-syllable morphemes. A morpheme is simply the smallest unit of meaning or grammatical function. Take, for example, the following words. Lart. High. Dreit. Straight. Poor. But. Se. That. The. And. Po. Yes. The consonants used in Toscan gag include t as in chat, the as in these, g as in geese, y as in you, o as in bull, ng as in canyon, r as in the Spanish pero or but, r as in the Spanish perro dog, th as in this, t as in pads, j as in joy, sh as in vision. To get an idea of what the Albanian language sounds like, listen to the following from Article 27, Section 1 from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. To finish this video, here are some phrases you should know. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. June. Summer. Vera. What time is it? Sa Breakfast. Mëngjesi. It was delicious. Ishte shishme. If you'd like to learn more about the Albanian language, visit kojilanguages.com. And if you enjoy these language digest videos, please consider leaving a like, commenting, sharing this video with your friends, and subscribing for more videos just like this one. That's all for today, and I'll see you in my next video. Shifemi